Hey guys, what's up? Today we got the Hyper Beadlocks off of my YFC450X and we are going to be switching the tires to these GBC um, Ground Buster, Ground Buster 3s I believe, which is the newest one. Um, right there, Ground Buster 3. Before these tires were taken off, our GBC um, I forget what they are. X something, I think. I have them studded. If you want to know how to stud tires, I have a video on my channel for that. But, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, first thing first, we're gonna drain all the air out of these tires. I do not have a, um, valve tool, or, or not valve tool stem tool like a tire stem tool so i'm going to be just pushing on it with like this small drill bit and um yeah and then just putting pressure on it to put all the air out that one has a slow leak so it's already low but this one has a good amount of air in it so yeah i'll see you guys when it's done okay now that we got all the air out we're gonna remove the um, bead locker. The ring. Go. Now we'll pull that off. Uh. That. Okay, so now I should do is flip the tire over. You're gonna need like a tire spoon or something like that. Um, if you have a debeater, that works way better, but if you have a debeater, you're probably not watching this video. So, what I do, take the tire spoon, put a little pressure on it, and then I'll just go hit it with a hammer, and obviously I'll do it a little harder, but I can't do it because I'm holding the camera. But what I'll do is I'll do that, then go to the other side, take over here, do it, and then over here, over there, and just keep going around until it pops off. So I'll do that real quick, then come back to you guys. Okay, and I'll pop up like this, and what you're going to do is mess with it, like start spinning it, twisting it, and pushing down on different sides just mess with it wiggle the rim out of there and yeah it's hard to do with one hand so i'm gonna have to do it off camera but it's pretty simple if you basically just twist it back and forth trying with a spoon not very hard but yeah i'll see you guys in a second okay got one out it does help if you have two tire spoons but you can do it with one um can be a little bit annoying sometimes, especially if the um, bead hasn't been taken off in a long time. But yeah, um, just keep messing with it. If you're having trouble, eventually you'll get it. But yeah, um, yeah. So let's. I'll show you guys how to throw a new tire on. Okay, for a new tire, you'll basically do the same thing, just in reverse. And keep track of which side of the tire you want on the outside. You'll put that on the side with the valve stem. So, 
Just gonna slide it down. Make sure throughout my this at the beginning of the video, you will need a bottle full of um, soapy water. Just water mixed with a little bit of soap. You don't need very much. And what you're gonna do before you put the tire on is just soap up the bead on both sides of the tire. Like that. And then like that, make sure you get it good. And then do the same thing on the on the rim. You can be generous with this stuff. It helps a lot. Okay. okay. Put that on. I think it's easier to put the rim on the tire, but you can do it either way. Eventually, just like taking it off, you'll, you'll get it. You can use the tire spin to help you out. Then, Grab your ring. What you're gonna do, slowly go around the ring, putting one a little bit in at a time, and make sure you go across. So that pressure spread out evenly. So that a few bolts that's not holding all the pressure. Once you think they're all tightened down, just go around the circle one more time. Give them a good buzz. Show you guys. It's looking good. You can see it's not fully beaded on the back. That's fine. I'll show you how to bead the back right here, right now. Okay, now to bead the back, what you're gonna do is get a air hose. You're just gonna slowly blow up the tire, and sometimes they pop into bead. Sometimes they just slide slowly into bead. Sometimes they don't want to bead at all. Um, if they don't bead right away, they, it takes quite a bit of pressure to breed them or beat them. But sometimes it just doesn't work. And people, if you've seen like people um, spray something around the edge and then pop it and it beads it. I've never had to do that before, but it happens. So yeah, let's fill it up.
You guys can see it's slowly beating. Put some more air in it. The soap on the rim really helps with this. But, see, it beaded. So, that's good. And, here you guys go. Got a new tire. Really easy to do. If you have bead locks, obviously, if you own a bead locks, it might be a little bit harder to do. Yeah. So I'll do the other one off camera. But yeah. So you do it. It's gonna be the end of the video. Thanks for watching. If you guys like the video, make sure to subscribe, follow the build on the YFC. And all sorts of stuff to it. Um yeah. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.